Welcome. This is an overview of Mendeley. Mendeley is a free software program that enables you to manage your research references. Uh, it is genius at helping you deal with PDFs. So in another video, I'll talk about the uh, pros and cons of Mendeley versus EndNote versus Otero. But for now, what you're looking at is Mendeley desktop. So the first thing to do is to find the Mendeley website and download Mendeley desktop for your desktop computer uh, or your laptop. This is on my laptop and set up an account with Mendeley. The account will enable you to sync your references between devices. So there's also an iPad app that you can take articles with you on the road. So once you've set up your account and you're going to be looking at a blank screen where your library is basically empty, the first thing you want to do is fill your library. So what you're seeing right here is um, my current library that I have on Mendeley. Periodically I clean it out and put all new articles in depending on what I'm writing. But if you look at the center screen here, I can just with one click sort articles by authors. And these are some blank areas that need some attention. I'll cover that in another video. I can sort my articles by title. I can sort by the year they were published. And then also what journals they were published in and other sorts of details. So for now I'm just going to, I don't know, search by title. Um, I'd like to go ahead and, and show you how to add things into your library to have something to play with. So coming up to the top left hand corner of your screen, if you click on the add icon, this will give you uh, the automatic choice to add files. I'm going to cancel out of this right quick and say if you click on the down arrow here, you can add files, add folders, um, you can even um, manually enter things. But we're going to go ahead and add some files. And so this pops me into my uh, my research articles folder, and here we are in aromatherapy. So I'm just going to select a couple of articles now. Uh, if you take a whole bunch of them at the same time, it will take a while for them to upload. But I'm going to select, let's say, just a handful down in here, these, what is these, four, and click on Open. And when I click on Open, then the articles are going to get inserted into my library. So when they do, and they come in, you'll see that it automatically brings in the metadata to some, for, for some of this. Um, what you don't want to do, by the way, is see where it says merge documents over here? That will put everything in one document. So you want to make sure if you're, uh, you're saving articles, you want to save each of them individually. So if I just click on this article, you'll see that it, it imports it as a journal article. It's drawing information exactly from the PDF. It gives you the citation here, the keywords that were provided, and then your PDF is here as well. Um, so once I have this and I've brought articles in, there are many different ways you can drop and drag from your desktop. But when you bring your articles in, eventually you're going to need to organize them. And so that can get a little bit tedious unless you do it as you're bringing your articles in. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here and show you that, you know, I write across disciplines. So I've got, um, I've only got four categories here in this library at the moment. But um, there are chances, for example, that some articles about Pilates are going to be applicable to exercise and physical activity, vice versa, um, maybe CBD and massage. And so you can cross reference by putting articles into different folders. You could have the same article in a couple places. And that way, when you highlight it and you start to use it um, in your research, you're not going to um, have to, you know, go someplace else and find it or have multiple copies in different uh, in different areas like you would with paper. So um, once you've imported your articles, the first thing to do is to look at your whatever articles are not sorted into folders yet and try and get a handle on this early on so that you can keep your references organized. So you'll see here that what popped up on the screen is unsorted are uh, about six articles all having to deal with aromatherapy. So I want to create a folder and I want to put these articles in a folder. So I'm just obviously over here going to click on create folder and my folder is going to be aromatherapy. And I can hit enter. And then I come to my unsorted articles and I'm going to left click and then select all of them. So shift click. And then I'm going to drag them all into the aromatherapy folder and they should all go in really nicely here. There we go. So once they're in the aromatherapy folder, if I click on aromatherapy, I'll see my references are here. And if I click on the cannabis and CBD articles, I'm going to find references here, not references, even the PDFs. And if I look at what's not sorted now, I actually don't have anything that's sorted, so I'm being well behaved in organizing my articles. So 
that's just one, the, the easy way to get your library populated and so in, a, in future videos and in, in just a moment I'll go through how you can highlight and make notes on your articles but that's a good introduction so download the software play around with it and have fun